On this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Shure MV7 microphone in Ableton. This is super easy to do. The first thing I suggest doing, make sure one, it's plugged in, and two, the lights are on. As you can see here, the microphone's plugged in and the lights are on. So I now know it's being powered by the computer. Next thing is I'm gonna go up here to system preferences. I'm on a Mac right now. You can also do this on Windows. Just check sound, just make sure when it comes to inputs, that the computer is recognizing the microphone. As you can see here, sure, MV7. This is all plug and play, by the way. It's not like you have to install anything. You should be able to plug it in and the computer should instantly recognize it. As you can see, as I'm talking as well, the input level is going up and down. So I now know that the computer is receiving the sound from my voice. So now let's go to Ableton. I personally like this view better, just personal preference. What I'm gonna do is go up here to live, then preferences, then audio, then audio input device, and I'm gonna click Sure MV7. Once I do this, I'm gonna go over here. You may notice two may be dark or maybe going up and down. I notice one is doing that right now. So you wanna make sure that at least right now, either one or two, sometimes it might be two, sometimes it might be one, depending on your inputs. You wanna make sure you're getting at least some type of signal, right? As I'm talking, you can see it going up and down. I'm now gonna click this icon right here to record. So now you can see right over here, as I talk, it's basically receiving the signal, but I'm not recording yet. So let's say to record my voice, I'm gonna click here. Hey everyone, how's it going? For this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Shure MV7 microphone in Ableton. Boom, got my audio clip right here and I'm good to go. One last pro tip I have to give, make sure you record quietly. As you can see here, this is like a decent volume. So if I wanna turn this up, very easy to do so in Ableton, whether I wanna use a limiter or just utility and turn it up this way. A bunch of different ways I can do this. But the biggest thing is this, if you record too loud, and I don't wanna do that because it's gonna hurt your ears, but if I were to turn the gain up here on the microphone, or let's say on my Mac, turn up the gain, meaning that the input volume is gonna be higher, if let's say you're doing a gaming video or a podcast and something happens for whatever reason that someone gets super loud. So they're like, oh my God, or I can't believe that just happened or some huge burst of sound, it can clip. And the last thing you wanna have happen, it's happened to me before, where let's say you film for 20 minutes, you're talking super loud. I know I talk super loud. You go back and listen to the audio and all of it is distorted and crackled and you realize, wow, you can't use any of it. So you can adjust this on your microphone here. I'll show you how me do this. You might not hear me as well, by the way, but I can do this. I can turn it down like so. So you can hear me quieter now. And then I can turn it up so you can hear me louder. I personally have it on about four or five. Um, I find that, that for me personally, given my microphone position and how loud I talk, I find that's my sweet spot. And then on my computer, you can see here, I usually hover around a little bit less than halfway, I find. And in addition, I always suggest do a couple of test runs before even record in Ableton or any software for that matter. I always suggest testing. So as you can see here, I can test it pretty much without, you know, having to record it. So I can be like, hey guys, how's it going? For this video, I'm talking about blank, blank, and blank. And yes, yes, yes. So now I know it, it, there's no way it's gonna be clipping. It's maximizing around halfway. In addition, if I go to OBS, which is actually the main software I use to record my screen and everything when doing these videos, you can see here that I'm using the uh, Shure MV7. And I always like to test this out as well. Like, hey guys, how's, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. So I may be teetering around the yellow range, but I'm not going into the red, which is exactly what I want. 